Well, good day, viewers. Good day. And welcome to Noel's Garden Tractors and Firewood. And today it is wet. And kind of windy. Windy, windy, windy. Let's see if I can zoom in on that over there. There's the drain. Look at that. She's just a goner. Get you zoomed back out. There. So today, my black garbage can was out for today's pickup and I uh, got a tag on it that I, and they don't really tell you what was wrong, but they didn't take the stuff anyway. That's the first time I think that's ever happened to me. So I don't know, it was a different driver or the fellow was in a hurry or him and his wife were having a, a spat or what, I don't know. Anyway, now I gotta do something with all the stuff that's in there, but I don't know what to do because they don't tell you what was wrong. That's quite a system, that. Anyway, on to the weather, I guess. So I said yesterday a bunch of snow coming. Well, that's all changed, of course, so, which is a good thing. That's a good thing. So we're at two degrees, and just depends on it was raining one minute and then snowing the next and then raining again and then snowing and just nasty, nasty day. 35 degrees Fahrenheit. Winds are southeast. And we don't normally get southeast winds, but 32 miles an hour. 52 kilometer gusts. So there's what our forecast is, and I'll get to the next page, or next uh, next one that does the forecast, it's a different, different site, I guess you'd call it, but anyway, so it's, you know, it's still not going to be very nice over the next few days, uh, you know, rain and snow, and flurries, and rain and snow, and flurries, and Anyway, some of the temperatures are quite different from this one to the next one I'm going to show you also. For an example, this one is showing 4 degrees for Sunday. The next one is showing 8. So, how can they be that far out between? I don't know, it just makes you wonder. All right, we'll go on to the next one here. This is the weather network that is in Canada. I don't know if it's in the U.S. or not. So, yeah, so Sunday is 8 degrees, and then we've got a 7-degree day and a 10-degree day, which aren't mentioned on the other side. <laughs> anyway, most of the snow has now changed the rain, so... 15 millimeters of rain, 20 millimeters of rain, and then 10 millimeters to 15 millimeters. There might be 5 centimeters on Saturday and 1 centimeter on Tuesday, I think it is. Yeah. So, there you go, Bruce. All the snow is gone. <laughs> but just a messy weekend, that's for sure. Anyway, that's that, so... Not a whole lot going to go on here today, but uh, there might be, I guess. But anyway, I got the uh, the deck fixed up here a bit, so we're all back together. This side I just put back. The way it was because there was nothing wrong with this side it was working fine never ever broke a pin there 
So this side. Um, thinking that's going to be all right, but then I got thinking, well, maybe I could drill holes through it and put more pins in it. And that should hold it from slipping, but, but if it breaks the pin, it's not going to. But I mean, that's what was going on with this. It was breaking pins. So, and I don't know why, really. Anyway, I would say the things were, and it could be still, the things were out of balance. But that thing really should be completely straight across, you know, horizontally. Uh, there shouldn't be any play this way or that way, or this way or that way, or and it should be level. At the distance from the center distance in here and the center distance in there, that should all be centered across there, which it was not, because these were worn and they were moving, you know. So that's, uh, how do you keep that solid from a, without it vibrating and whatever, so. I might try and drill holes in that, but the holy cat is going to take hours to do that. That stuff is as hard. Yep, it's hard stuff. Anyway, I might. I might try that this afternoon. But other than that, it's together and might work for a season, might work for a day. Who would know? They did go together a little tighter than was. What was there? They were <coughs> they were tighter. This end is tighter than that end. So that end's got the pin, so it shouldn't really do anything. Anyway, well, one never knows, I guess. Anyway, I'm gonna see if I can drill that. And, oh man, what a thing to drill! I'm telling you. Of course, we can't get it under a press, so. Here you are, an old fellow like me trying to press on that, trying to push down. This is what I had bought before to drill it. Uh, let's see now. It's kind of like a It's kind of like a concrete bit, I think. I kind of have to relook at it, I guess. There's another, there's another new one here. Let's see. So it's good for metal, I guess. All in one bit. Oh, there you go. Plastic, metal. I... I think it's kind of like for a hammer drill. So, yeah. Newest one, look at that. He wrote that down. Um, recommended RPMs. Hammer mode. Brick, concrete, tile, stone, plastic, metal. So the idea of this bit is supposedly supposed to go through stone, block wall, and all that kind of stuff, but if it hits a piece of rebar, it's supposed to be able to go through that too. Anyway, what a job that was to drill that. Man, oh man, I spent hours at drilling those four holes on that deck. Anyhow, 
So, um, just another quick little video here for you today. I might drill that this afternoon, and I'll take a video of that, maybe doing some of it, and I'll post that another day. And uh, what have we got going on? Oh, yeah, there's, look at that over there. I know there's people that just can't sleep at night without seeing that. Leaking, beeping chainsaw. <laughs> And we've got a few pieces of mail to go through. All right, let's have a look here and see what's happened today with the leaking beeping chainsaw. Are you ready? There now, look at that. Still leaking. What? Not as much, but over a bunch of days, I guess it will eventually make a puddle. Anyway, that's the way it is, I guess. It's going to leak and that's it. But, like I say, it's not as bad as it was. I do have to uh, thank Phil at... Alan Family Firewood. Phil kind of looked into that down in his area there and found a fellow that does Red Max uh, work, so he asked him about it and gave me a few interesting thoughts and a phone number to phone him, so I may do that someday. Thanks, Phil. That was very nice of you to do that. And he's taking the time out of your busy day to look up that kind of thing for me. That's great. So I guess that's it. Uh, I'm going to go in and have some din din. And got the fire going. And uh, I'll have to put this back away up on the wall. Might do that today. Or maybe not. I've got to get the tractors out to do that. So I guess that won't happen today. So the wood pile... The pile is going down. There's what's left. Is that going to get me through to the middle of April? Yes, sir. I'm kind of thinking it will. But anyway, uh, i got wood outside, so that doesn't make much difference. But so anyway, there we go. There's a, a little video for you today. And uh, I have to thanks. There's some new subscribers in the last few days, so that's great. Thanks very much for subscribing. I certainly appreciate everybody that views and subscribes. Hopefully you get some entertainment out of my videos. So there we go. All right, I'm starting to ramble, so I might as well let you look at all these nice channels here. And what did I see this morning? Mm -hmm. Len's keeping busy. He, he had a little video out there on his uh, on his uh, trailer that he has the winch. Oh. The, crane on that he lifts up the big wood rounds into his trailer. That's quite a system. Oh, and Gravely Man Small Engine has a video out today and I didn't get to look at that yet. But I'll look at that through the noon hour already, that's for sure. And uh, I think Big Sons, I think he's probably still eating donuts. <laughs> or he's gone to McDonald's, one or the other. <laughs> but he's getting her done. He's getting her done, yeah. Um, I guess that's it. Not much else going on. 
there so there you go have a look at all them great channels there's, there's all good stuff there goodbye now